Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Nukem Duke Amir, and I think I have officially found the voice actress of the upcoming Spanish operator, Mira. Uh, and uh, it's through my fans. So, first off, I want to thank you, all of you guys who've been tweeting at me, sending me Facebook message whenever you guys find new content or possible Easter eggs, so I can let the community know. So, I can't do it without you guys. So, I want to give a shout out to you guys. And um, a part of that process of wanting to give back is doing a giveaway of the game on all platforms so you guys can play with your friends and if you need a year two season pass to get the game uh, one week early of all new dlcs you can do that in the exclusive items uh make sure you check the end dates in the description for you and uh so you know it's at it's 1 a.m right now and i'm um, working hard for you guys if you guys could do me a favor hit that subscribe button and you hit that bell button next to the subscribe button it actually notifies you when there's a new rainbow six siege information video by me uh you know youtube just puts it in your subscription box but it doesn't ever notify you this actually lets you know hey there's new content you gotta check it out and um yeah hit the like button and share this with your friends i appreciate that so before we go into the whole mirror, I thought this was a pretty interesting uh, concept uh, one of my fans uh, sent me, Tim Frazier, at Nukem Dukem. Your thoughts on an attacking operator who shoots a dart through a destructible wall with a camera on the tip. I want to know what you guys just think about on this because I actually think this is a gr brilliant concept idea that, I, uh, that, I, that someone came up with. Uh, Valkyrie is the defensive operator who has three Valkyrie cameras for more cameras because, you know, when, when the attackers spawn, they already know all, where all the cameras in the building to just take it out easily. So that's why Valkyrie kind of compensate that, hey, we need more um visions or see know more what's going on um this is interesting i actually think this is a great idea because uh this is a way uh for attackers because usually in high level play you usually don't have a lot of drones left near the end of the game and you have no idea where the defender is and you, you know the attackers just running trying to guess where he is peak corners this one kind of gives you a, a little alleviation of that um where you know defenders can still take out the camera but it gives you a little bit more scouting report and gives you a d attacker uh, more information uh, if used right I, I would like to see pros play it so uh, let me know what you think about uh, Tim Frazier's idea and leave a comment below okay right, now let's go ahead and uh, go into my uh, professional stalking ab I mean um, uh, professional researcher ability uh, this one comes from Jake seven six six seven four three one seven very original jake thank you uh all voice actors on rainbow six are on imdb and here we can confirm the existence of mirror character in game and then there all right so oops let me go ahead and show you this the page the voice actor page on rainbow six games now i can't 100 percent confirm this but i'm 99 percent sure this is correct i don't know the process of verification through imdb of you posting what work you've done uh, i don't know what the validation check so i don't know if anyone can put their name say hey i worked on this project or 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 what what it is so i'm gonna assume it's real but i can't 100 percent put my seal approval on this but yeah so keep that in mind when uh, I'm uh, presenting you this information. So here I thought we could find who the male uh, Spanish operator were since I thought they just all the actors, uh, voice actors and voice actresses put what character they worked on. But no, that's not the case. You only get a few of them. Like here we have Twitch's voice, uh, Terrace voice, IQ's voice, Rebel, Thermite, Thatcher, Sledge, Tachanka, and then you have Caviar and that's that's it. So we couldn't find, I couldn't find any male attacker. So we were lucky that this one's here. So here we have Christine Solomon. She plays Mira and a uh, pregnant woman and radio, radio announcer. All right. So let's go ahead and read into her bio uh, a little bit. So we have a more background, this voice actress, her dynamic ability, kind of see some of her demos, some of her work. So we have a better idea of what uh, Mira may sound like because uh, we have to see the dynamic range of that. So we'll do a little bit uh, cyber stalking. You know you guys all cyber stalk your person you have a crush on or or things like that. This is just just, just research. Yeah, yeah, just research. So she was born in uh, Egypt. Christine Solomon is a Canadian actress. She began her career in entertainment industry at a tender age of five years old, performing plays on stage. The trained theater actress worked in a wide range of Canadian American and international productions. Christine Solomon's charismatic personality shines through her on stage personas. She's topped local and foreign press. She splits her time uh, between Montreal and LA, and she isn't busy working on projects. She enjoys writing and traveling. So, you know, it's kind of put a little bit of credibility since she lives in Montreal. Ubisoft can just grab her and have her record some lines. And apparently, uh, she did. Um, 
here's some personal quotes. I won't look at this, but uh, but she was actually raised in Montreal, age of seven, uh, and personal quotes of her. So then I was like, pregnant woman? I don't remember any pregnant woman in Rainbow Six Siege. And I was like, okay, let's let's Google Rainbow Six Siege pregnant woman. So to see what else she has done. We can't look at the radio since there's so many radios in different songs. But then I came across this article and, uh, and I, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, the disturbing representation of women in Rainbow Six Siege by GameSpot. Anyways, uh, I went off on a little tangent there. Okay, so then I was like, okay, she, if you're a voice actress, uh, you probably have some demos on YouTube or you might be known a little bit. So I just, you know, searched her name on YouTube here, you know, just uh, researching, researching. Uh, didn't, didn't look through uh, it too heavily and looked at every single one of her photos and things she'd done in her life and uh, knows her uh, bank account information, things like that. But anyways, she has a couple of videos you know she doesn't publish much but we got a couple of stuff but here's a little voice demo i'll play a little bit she does have some that um she did in a little gaming way where she can like audition for games and then a lot of them were commercial stuff so we'll take a little listen to her dynamic range now it doesn't say, sound like it's part of rainbow six siege but um it can give you an idea of what she can sound like demo is rated r for rockin listener discretion is ill-advised you little brat! Release me from my chains and I will use my magic fairy dust to grant you one wish. I know what I want to wish for. I want a set of brand new teeth so I can eat whatever I want. You think it's easy being a tooth fairy? Sorry, kiddos, but I've got too many teeth on my schedule to play games with you. But never fear, my dears. I've got my ears peeled for your pearly whites. Yeah! The only difference between these tomatoes and these tomatoes is the glad bag. Don't get mad, get glad! So, you know, it, you got here's some little game stuff. It sounds like more of a she worked on kids game or a kind of demoing a kids game with her voice. You had a little bit of Spanish music in the background, but not really the Spanish voice and accent in my opinion. Um, so I never heard her Spanish um, ability to do it. But, uh, you know, she has a lot of American sounding commercials in the rest of the demo. The beginning half was more on the game side. So to that. And then um, we saw that she's on some TV shows. She did some interviews. So uh, her primary language is, uh, from what I, what I can guess, is is f Canadian French or French Canadian because uh, she was born in Montreal and they speak mainly French Canadian there. And um, she was born and raised in Montreal. So... Here, here's a little like personality to her. Part of the award season at Lermitage Hotel. Okay. Oui, j'ai gagné à Toronto euh, le prix pour la meilleure actrice pour mon film Heliopolis. C'était pour les euh, Mac Madback Awards à Toronto. Euh, et mon film était était un des participants aussi pour euh, Toronto Film Festival aussi. C'était c'était vraiment fun. Une grosse année qui s'en vient pour toi, plusieurs films. Oui, quelques films cette année. Je... Okay, so you know, here's her YouTube channel. You want to kind of research more about research more about her voice acting ability but i right now it's 40 41 subscribers right now after this video goes up i'm kind of interested to see what her number reaches after this but uh yeah there's her ability and what she can say and um let's go remind you a picture of what mira looks like uh mira mira it looks like sorry people are just on my case about how i pronounce things lately uh in case you need to be reminded of what she looks like no, there, here she is. Um, I remember a Reddit post of someone showing that uh, this is what. Let's see, I think it was a Reddit post of a good picture of what the operators looked like, and I didn't save it, but it looked really good. But it, uh, but anyways, um, this is what Mary looks like. Um, based on the Spanish picture I saw with the G E O or G O. Um, it looks really close to what she's wearing or her or what she's wearing looks somewhat close to what they're wearing with the helmet and the visor on top so let me know what you guys think so let me know about the Valkyrie uh, attack on the attack side and then um, the the 
why we don't have female hostage and the voice actress of what you guys think. All right, have a good one. Don't forget to enter the year two and the game giveaway in the description. Please hit that subscribe and that bell notification. If you guys want to go above beyond, I would love you to death. If you go below video players, say share. You can share this on your Facebook, you can share on your Twitter, and you can share on Reddit. Uh, if someone makes a Reddit post, I appreciate that too. Okay, I'll see you guys later.